if you've got X stock and you buy it, whether it's a week out, whether it's a year out, okay. you're going to have time value. If it's a year out, it's a whole lot more you've paid for time value in that stock. And intrinsic value. Intrinsic value is what it's worth over the cost of the stock. In other words, if the stock's selling at 20 mm -hmm. and your strike price is 22 or 20, you have no intrinsic value because the stock strike price is exactly what the stock's selling for. But let's say you got you bought a week out option expires in one week okay mm -hmm. then your time value every day clicks down you're losing time value if that stock doesn't rise stock price go up quicker than that intrinsic value the time value you're losing you lose if the stock moves up quick Another day goes by, lose a little intrinsic, it moves up double. Next day, you lose a little more intrinsic, or, or a little more time value, extrinsic, and it goes back up. Then that's how you can take, on that $20 stock, mm -hmm. you can buy, let's say you could buy that, a week out for 20 cents a share. Okay. And it's selling for $20. So however much that stock goes up, and it's not uncommon for a stock, you know, under certain circumstances, a $20 stock to run up to 30 in a week. Right. You have now got $10 intrinsic value, $10 a stock, and one contract, one option is 100 shares. Right. So that tw that $10. That 20 cents you paid, you paid 20 times 100. Mm -hmm. $10, right? Mm -hmm. And if it runs up $5, you got $500. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, okay. okay. That's with no intrinsic value left. That's an expiration. If you sold it before it ran up ten dollars, you said, "Man, I'm getting out of this." You would get, you would have the ten dollars plus the intrinsic, mm -hmm. or less the intrinsic value. Actually, plus the intrinsic value left in it. Right. Now, what does the word intrinsic mean? Or uh, not intrinsic. I mean extrinsic. Those two terms. I don't use extrinsic. That book does, but it it tells you what it is. <laughs> and brokers 